Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gentalian, and welcome back to Grim Tales Grey Witch. This is Act 4. When we last left off, we had just had a huge, spectacular cutscene. I was so startled that one Inquisitor has a skull for a head. Victor's girlfriend kidnapped Stacy. Though, given how we first saw her, she was just crying. So... Well, she was kind of doing the whole zombie walk thing when she approached Stacy, so I'm not sure if she intended her harm or just intended to rescue her. Because being in this cell where it's slotted for torture, I don't doubt Stacy was in it for that as well. That or straight up witch burn. So it could have been a rescue, it could be an attack and kidnapping. Who knows? But yeah, that one Inquisitor has a skull for a head. You would think people of this time period would be a little more bothered by that. That or it's just an illusion that hides it and we see through it because we have magic. Anyway, let's get that morphine object. I've been watching that shift for the last little bit. I even saw it when we got here. <sighs> also, our father in the last episode, so condescending about this. And he wonders why Stacy kicked him out of her investigation. Skull right here. It's too dark to see what's there. You can still see the outline of the skeleton, no problem. Clearly a bat belongs here. The funny thing is, this would have had to have been made by the people who made the jail cell in the first place. Friend, I discovered they were planning to put you in the cell, so I made a stash in the wall. Look, find the bat. Look under your pillow to find a way to bend the grating. I hope this helps. Wow. Even iron bars can be bent with cloth using enough force. I wonder if it's the busybody from before, or if it's the lady who kidnapped Stacy. It's stuck between the stones. I just need a piece of this cloth, which means I need something sharp. Oh, let's give you the bread. No? We're not feeding you? Mm, that's something sharp. And I think that's what Richard gave us earlier. So we get to keep literally everything, including our father's skull. Oogie dook! A pick. Candle. Ah, flint and steel. Careful, I don't want to damage that. Let's cut this. Pretty explicit instructions there. I wonder how this works, really, and why the cloth being wet helps. He almost bit me. Maybe I should offer some food? Now he feeds you. Seagulls, I hear, can be absolutely cruel, or mean, or savage, or whatever you want to call it, when it comes to... Someone they think is going to feed them, or th they even think has food. Hey, this brick is made of flint. I just need to break a part off. And we still have the pick. I thought that part of the stone wall s seemed a little obvious in comparison to the rest. Please tell me we keep this more than once. Nope. Ooh, I, right, I should be looking for a doll. Don't see one. Good grief. They don't really don't clean up their corpses, even out on the street. Ooh. 
What do we need torture devices for? Outside of getting rid of them so they're not used on us. Evidently, they're not hurting for metal, the fact they're leaving all this here. Okay, after I leave this area, I'm probably not going to be able to come back. So make sure I have all of the... Here's hoping I don't end up like you, friend. Puzzle pieces. I got them working out, but there's no doll here. Matching symbols, okay. I gotta praise your grip strength. It's much stronger than what I've got. At least we gotta keep those gloves, even though they're a lot shorter than the ones we were using prior to this. You saw that witch with that monster? She's hiding something! We will question her soon. Meanwhile, that monster has not been killed yet. There is still much to do. It can't be that simple. I should search your house for clues. Oh, doll. Ah, uh, Abigail is her name. Please, miss? Won't you show some mercy? I did see a girl wearing a white shirt and blue pants. She just ran by. I might tell you more, if you give me something valuable. He saw Stacy, I got I have to find out what he knows. Donna. She belonged to a poor girl who dreamed of being a warrior. She even dressed her up in armor. Ah. Citizen Victor's deadly curse turns people into skeletons. There may be other mages helping him. If you see someone and anyone suspicious, inform Supreme Inquisitor Darien. So that's why there's skeletons in the streets. And I doubt it's Victor. Victor was a scientist, not a mage. Someone, namely that Inquisitor with a skull for a head, is probably using Victor's a scapegoat. We're bringing his wife back to life. This branch is blocking the mailbox. Maybe I can cut part of it off. It's not blocking it that much. Good grief. Especially with how it sways in the wind. A oh, wasp nest. How can I get rid of them? I've got a pole and a pipe. No? I guess I need smoke. Gotta find a morphine object in this area. There you go. I bet I can break this lock off somehow. Leverage? Nope. Coin purse. Oh! There must be something I can do to help him. Thank you. You're very kind. As a beggar, most people ignore me, so I hear many secrets. Did you know this is the house of Abigail Oswald? People in dark cloaks visit her late at night, and horrible sounds have been heard inside. I fear she's responsible for the curse, but the guards don't listen to a beggar like me. Here, take this. I don't need it, but maybe you will. Looks like this Abigail could provide a good lead. I'll search her house next. A lighter. I'm surprised you don't need a lighter. Wouldn't you need that to light a fire, keep warm? This tool is missing a handle. A long pole would help. A 
This water pumping station seems to be working. Indeed it does. I don't have anything to carry water with yet. Nail puller, brick. Do I use that to brick in here? No. Crowbar. Yippers. Ah, the smoker. I could definitely pick this lock with the right tool. Yeah, I need some tinder of some sort. Oh. Oh yeah, I would need to cut it up small for that. Abigail Oswald. Now I just have to light it. Must be a dead branch in order to just light it without any tinder or... Fuel. I wonder if smoke really works this well. Can't reach it. Lantern and a house key. How did it get up there? It must be a spare or something. Abigail's house. Well, let's go. I knew you would escape. Aren't you lucky to have such a caring father? I really wouldn't call you that still. Come now. Don't make that face. You need my help again, don't you? Nice to know Anna agrees with me. Take this. Don't ask where it came from. Surely you can let me keep one secret. You keep a lot of secrets. Of course Father wouldn't make it that easy. I think he likes watching me struggle. I think it's more of a case of he doesn't like spoon feeding. Oh. Amelia. This doll was left behind at a murder scene. I'm sure she has many secrets. Uh-oh. How many doll- okay, dolls are in yellow. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Uh-oh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I think I missed one. Okay, one second. Oh, wait. Game. Collectibles. I have five here. I should have- definitely have more than that. I should have six. And I totally missed one. Dread it! Oh, Where did I miss them? That's really annoying! I didn't realize I missed one. And there's nothing I can do because I've lost those- I can lost the ability to go to that area. Oh. I normally don't have a hard time with collectibles. Okay, there was one here, there was one here, and there was one here, and there was one here. And you see, those two are there. It was one of these four that I missed. Pretty sure I got this one, actually. And this one. I'm pretty sure it was this one I missed. So I can vaguely recall getting the others. That's so frustrating. Our town has been troubled by robbers and rioting. That's why I made you the secret passageway. It leads to the tower of your six sister's lover, Victor. You'll be safe there. Oh! So, it's her sister who was... It's Abigail's sister. Who was married to Oswald. Uh, Victor. Maybe I should break the glass and save some time? I amulet. Oh, mark an object. I guess you don't want to resurrect Emily, even though she's your own sister. 
Victor's efforts will fail, but we can help if you pay us. You know where to find us. That's rather ominous, honestly. Who's this handsome fellow? Could this be Abigail's lover? I have the feather, right? Yeah. Now I just need to scroll. Okay, pry open the lid. So there's something in the fire, but I have to put it out to retrieve it. Ah, uh, that's what we're going to need the water for. But first, let's do this. I'm not sure what melody to play. It's a bit out of tune, too. Now I'm over fixated on the fact I missed one of the collectibles. Oof. Signet ring. Ah, morphine object. Oh, it's one of those clickies. I saw something over here morph. This one did. Something over here. Now for one more object. Got it. I need a tool to open this envelope without ripping up the message inside. Abigail, I kept my part of the deal and sent you what you requested. I heard the Inquisitor plans to raid Mad Victor's tower soon, so hurry up. I wonder what that's about, but finding that out is gonna have to wait till next time. Because this is Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to know if I want to upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye bye. <laughs>